thanks so much for clicking on my channel with all smiles over here. I am Will Sanja. It's like asking a question. Will Sanja help you keep your smile for the day? And hopefully the answer is yes, you guys. I'm trying not to keep it long, but y'all already know if it gets good, I'm keep on talking. The golden egg today is how to get rid of that headache or that migraine that you have. I know you've already taken your wet Tylenol. You've already taken some ibuprofen and y'all have been asleep and woken up. And guess what? That headache, that migraine is still there. Your headache and migraine can be easily cured by you letting go. That simple. You say letting go of what? Of what? Letting go of trying to figure out how it's going to work out. You're trying to do step two. That's why you have the headache and the migraine. Even though you think you're not thinking about it, it's in your subconscious mind. Because even though you're not saying and talking about it, you're thinking about it up here. And because you're thinking about how to fix what's going on in your arena right now, whether how to pay that bill, or how to get rid of um, this um, disease or whatever that you may have, or illness that you have, or how to repair something that's in your relationship, or how to um, deal with somebody that's treating you like crazy, whatever, 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 whatever the problem slash trial slash learning experience that you're in, you're trying to figure it out. I remember in the song it says, why are you trying to figure it out? God has already worked it out. So re the reason why you have the headache and the migraine is because subconsciously you're trying to figure it out. And that's not your job. Like I said, you're trying to do step two. I told you there are three steps to you getting your manifestation, to you getting what you so desire. The first step is you asking slash requesting. That's your part. That's your lane. Step two is for you to allow the giving, which means that's not your part. God gives the giving of the solution and brings about what you desire, right? And the last part, the third part is you receiving. You receive, so you only have two steps. That's for you to ask and then for you to receive. You're in God's lane. You're trying to do what source does best. It's not your job to figure out how it's supposed to work out. You got all these scenarios in your head of how you think things are going to come. And then when it doesn't come and show up that way, you get the headache. Then you start popping pills, the Tylenol and the ibuprofen. Then you got to go to bed to try to sleep it off, but it ain't sleeping off. And then you got attitudes and snapping at everybody because you got this migraine. You got to let it go. I told you yesterday what? What did I tell you? right on time, that God is going to show up and show out for you right on time. So I'm trying to figure out, why are you trying to figure out the plan, the in-between time of what God's doing? Why are you trying to look behind the curtain to see what God's doing? That ain't none of your business. If it was, then God would say, hey, I want your hands to do what I'm going to do. That's not it right now. You were not designed to figure out your solutions on your own. Let me say that. On your own. And right now, some of you guys are not aligned and connected, or you're almost aligned and connected, but you're not quite there yet, and you're trying to figure it out. If God is going to give you the answers, you got to be all the way aligned and connected, which means what? God is in the what? at your forefront, moving in and through you, that you're able to see within your journey with some clarity, which means you're not in this thing alone, which means what? Your solutions, your answers is being given to you from God, not you trying to figure it out by yourself because we weren't designed for that. We weren't designed to do that alone by ourselves. We weren't. That's why I'm always stressing. Stay aligned and connected because you and God become one, which means when God does the giving or when he gives the answer, you're able to what? Receive it. But when you're trying to do all three steps, you already know it ain't going to work. It's not, I've been there. I have been there too many times, too many times to where I was trying to figure out some things. Like if I do this, okay, I did it that way. Let me do it this way. Let me do it this way. And not once have I tried to get a line of connective or ask God, God, what, what, how do you want me to do this? What, what's your solution? What's your plan? What's, what's the direction, God? I was trying to be the GPS. And every single time I was getting a headache, y'all. I was getting a migraine. I was snapping at people. I was getting in despair. I was doubting myself. I was doubting God. And I didn't want to hear nothing nobody else said. I was just trying to make this physical brain come up with the answer by itself. And this physical brain isn't designed to come up with anything. I'm just I'm just here to tell you. God is a source. God is source. 
That's why y'all hear me saying source a lot because I like to say source more than I say God because God is the source of all resources. So that headache can be cured. That migraine can be cured. Or some of y'all are dealing with some serious, serious pain over there. And all that can be cured by you not trying to, what, come up with the solution alone. Get aligned and connected, which I said, what? Is God being at the forefront of your life, moving in and through you, thus you're able to see within your journey with some clarity, which means what? Boom, bam, thank you, man. The answer is there. God allows you to see the path. That's if he wants you to put your hand and work in it to, to get in the manifestation. But if God doesn't want that, then you just gotta sit back and relax and know that God is gonna show up and show out for you right on time. I hope y'all got it. If you didn't get it, rewind it because I don't want y'all over there popping the Tylenol and the ibuprofen and going to sleep when you could be playing with your kids or be spending time with your husband or whatnot or could be cleaning up, but you got to go to sleep because you got this headache and it won't go away. I'm telling you how to get rid of it. Let it go. Let God do, do what he does best. And that's step two. Let him do the giving. He got it under control. You just got to stay in the positive, thinking positive. What? Thinking possible. And how are you going to do that? By being and staying aligned and connected. All right, y'all. I'm going to go. But in the meantime, in between time, if you take just a little bit of what I'm telling you and apply to your life to the best of your ability, you won't ever, 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 ever have to mask a smile. Why? Because your smiles will always be genuine. And listen, if y'all wondering what's going on with my hair, I'll run up. it's about time for me to get that perm. And I'm trying any kind of way. I'm trying to hold off a few more weeks before I do it. So I'm trying to figure out ways where I don't have to hot curl it as much. Okay, so that's what's going on with the unicorn look. Okay, and the side pony. All right, y'all get it? <laughs> it got it good. I'll talk to y'all soon. Be blessed, stay blessed. Be blessed, stay blessed. Be blessed, stay blessed. Y'all know what's coming next. Ciao.